So, just write it out, figure it out really quickly using what I just showed you. You actually, you should get your periodic table out, but in reality, you don't need it for this problem because you hold everything you need. Atomic number is the bottom one. It's the number of protons. Or it's on the periodic table. Remember that your uh, neutrons are equal to the mass number minus the number of protons. Okay, don't forget that. Mass number is one on top. Yeah, it is pretty easy. It's basically a subtraction problem. Because proton, pro protons are positive. So. Now, really quickly, let's go over this because there's more to do. So we have protons. We know that if you look it up, up on your table, mercury is 80. It also is confirmed right here. Whenever you see a notation like this, the protons are always on the bottom, the atomic number. Now, we know that this is a neutral atom, so the electrons will be the same thing. And then in this case, the neutrons, it's actually a very simple subtraction problem here. It's just, you know, 204 minus 80. Yes. We knew it was neutral because there was no charge indicated. We will do another one now that is not neutral, that is an ion. I'm going to show you. Now, now, remember, uh, and yes, I like you to be good while I request so I have to do multiple takes. It's annoying. So next, uh, how, is it, how do we know it's neutral and not an ion? Well, let me show you an example that's an ion. Let's say we have almost the exact same thing. Okay, but then you see this written there. You see what I did there? Now we have this plus one charge. And if you think about that, any time that you have a charge indicated, like on this PowerPoint slide here that you can't see on the video, uh, you will see those indicated, okay? Now, let's say that we had this. I could also write this as just mercury plus. If there's no number, you assume it's plus what? It's plus one. You know, or you could have, you know, maybe you could have plus three, or you could have, you know, oxygen minus two, whatever. There's all different types of ions. But for right now, I just want us to focus on this. So let's do the protons neutrons and electrons again. Protons should be pretty easy. I mean, you just did it for the same thing. Protons is 80. Now, neutrons really quickly. What's it going to be in this case? It was one It was 124 here. 203 minus 80 is going to be 123 instead of 124. Because I just changed it, I, it's a different isotope. You can have differing isotopes, that's the point. Now, this is the part where people can get confused, but hopefully they will not. The simple way to think about this is this. We have a plus one ionic charge on this mercury. That means that we have one more positive charge than negative charge. We know the number of protons is 80, and we cannot change that number. If we change the number from, from 80, it becomes a different element. So the simple way to do this, the simple way to do this is to just say, okay, if it's plus one, then here's what that means. It means you subtract one electron from the protons. It's the opposite. Whenever you see plus, subtract an electron. Whenever you see negative, you add an electron. So in this case, we would have 80, or pardon me, 79 electrons. 
No, it wouldn't be negative, just 79 electrons. If it said minus 1, it would be 80 Yes. So that's it. Oh, yeah, we're going to do it several more. Now let's, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a little bit easier here. We're going to ignore the mass number for now. We're just going to look at atomic number and, and electrons. We're not going to worry about neutrons for a minute. So let's do, let's do oxygen negative two. Get out your periodic table. Tell me how many protons there are in oxygen. No. Let's get a clean one for the video. There we go. Yeah, so really quickly, you look at oxygen. Again, this is recording, so if you make weird noises, it shows up on here, and then I get mad at you. So, we have eight protons here. So you write down eight protons. Now, this is a negative two, so what that tells us is that we have two more electrons than protons. So if it's negative two, you don't subtract two, you add two. Ten electrons. That's it. That's all you got to do. We're not worried about, I mean, in this case, and that's a good question, the mass number. In this case, I could not ask you for neutrons or the mass number because I do not tell you. I mean, all you know about this for certain is that there's eight protons. You don't know if there's, you know, I mean, you can look at the thing and you can see that, you know, oxygen's atomic mass is 16.00 on our table, though in reality it's 15.9999. But you do not know how many neutrons it has. And we will talk about why that is when we talk about average atomic mass in like 10 minutes. Yes? Is atomic mass and atomic weight the same? No, no. We're going to talk about that in a minute. That's the next presentation, basically. So let's do one more. We're going to combine all of it now. Actually, we're going to do two more. Let's say I write something uh, like this. Let's say I write that out. This is another way of, no, you know, another notation for writing out atoms, basically. What this tells us, if you ever see this, that's obviously carbon, and then this right here is the mass number. So, it's not, it's not negative, it's a dash, okay? Let's be clear on that. It's not negative, it's a dash. So, carbon... If you want to think about this, how many protons are there in carbon? Look it up really six. quick. Six. There are six, yes. Now, neutrons, remember that neutrons are equal to mass number minus protons. Well, no, this is just another way of writing it. So that's what I'm showing you. That This is another notation. I want you to see it once. So the no, you don't ask me later, why is it negative 12? Because somebody will. So then it's just 12 minus 6, what does it come out to be? 6. 6 again. And then if you look at your electrons, six. it's neutral. Is there a charge indicated? No. So 6 again. Neutrons is mass number minus protons. That's how. So this is just another notation. I wanted you to see it one time so you just saw it. All right, let's do one more. Then, we're, then I'll move on. No, not even close, sadly. Hang on. All right, there. I want you to look from this. I want you to tell me protons, neutrons, and then electrons. Try this one yourself really quickly. Write it down. Yeah, you might. I don't know if you can do that one. You should. No, there's, there's like lead forms a plus four i, and I'll explain why soon. I'm not randomly making these charges up. They exist for a reason. That's lead. That's that's P B. You you honestly though yeah you do not need the periodic table to do this. It doesn't matter at all. I just know that right now. Just just look at the problem and accept that. Oh, so we won't have to like do that. Right? No, you're never gonna make up a problem that you then do yourself. Okay. I will always give you the problems. Thank you, sir.
That would be a pretty weird test. Like, make up your own test questions and then answer them. Yeah. That would actually be kind of funny. Seriously? Wow. I do So, really quickly, shh. Protons, it's right here at the bottom. Okay. Neutrons. When you see this, it's pretty easy to just do a subtraction problem. Yeah. I mean, you can just subtract those two numbers, and that gives you your, uh, you know, your 128 there. Now, more importantly, and last but not least, electrons. If we have plus four. Wait, how did you get 128? 210 minus 82. Now, last but not least, if you have plus four, that means that you have. You have to subtract four electrons from your total, so you end up with 78 electrons. Yes? Because the dash, whenever you see a notation like that, when you see elements, dash, that's going to be the mass number over here. No, the mass number is protons plus neutrons. Remember that, mass number is protons plus neutrons. Every time. Okay? That's the mass number. All right.